Good morning and God bless each and every one of you that have made your way out to the house of the Lord. Can you turn to someone and say Happy New Year? Happy New Year! Oh, y'all act like y'all don't know what that means. Happy New Year means happy new blessings, happy new gifts. Uh, God is getting ready to do a new thing. One psalm writer said, new blessings every morning I see because God's faithfulness is in fact great unto each and every one of us. Good morning and God bless those that are in virtual land. We thank you for joining here at St. Paul AME Zion Church in Detroit, Michigan. We praise God for you worshiping with us on this morning. Do us a favor, like us and share us and let others know that St. Paul is given honor and glory for a new year on this morning. Those of you that are here in the house, uh, seems a little chilly in here to me. Uh, can you help me stir up the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit? Listen, the heat bill is too high anyway. Come on, let's give God glory and praise for another year and another opportunity to praise his holy and righteous name. Well, this is a day that the Lord has made. I will be rejoice and be glad in it. I was in fact glad when they said, let's go into the house of the Lord. So I entered these gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I entered these courts with praise. I'm thankful unto him, and I come to bless God's almighty name. Would you magnify the Lord with me? Let us exalt his name together, because the Lord is good, and his mercy is, in fact, everlasting. So praise God in this sanctuary. Praise God with string instruments. Praise God with timbrel and dance. Praise God as you lift your voice. Praise God as you stomp your feet. Let everything that has a little bit of breath praise ye the Lord. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for allowing us to come to your house one more again where we can lift you up, where we can worship together corporately and tell others about the goodness and the greatness of the Lord. God, we don't feel like driving this morning. So God, you get in the driver's seat. God, lead us in worship this morning like you've never done before. Have your way in this tabernacle. Have your way in this sanctuary. God, we yield to you, oh God. God, you be the stoplight and the go light and the yield light as we worship you this morning. And God, if you do that, we pray you'll be pleased with our praise. Let God be pleased with our worship. Let God be pleased with the clapping of our hands, the lifting of, the, of our voices, and the stomping of our feet. We thank you in advance for souls that will come in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I wish I had a New Year's Day worshiping group this morning. I, I, I just wish I had a group that understood that 2022 is gone and God has allowed us to walk into 2023. Somebody ought to say thank you, Lord. Somebody ought to say glory to his almighty name. Amen, amen. Listen, music still soothes the most savage beast. Music still ushers into our hearts and spirits joy and hope and peace and love. Don't act like that. Y'all don't act like when your song used to come on the radio. You know what used to happen? Well, listen, we're getting ready to sing the Lord's songs. And something ought to get ready to happen. Amen. Amen. No, we're not in a room with dark lights. No, we're not slow dancing, stepping, or doing none of that. But we are praising God. Amen. 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 Come on, choir. Lead us further in worship.
Let the church say amen. amen. And are we yet alive to see each other's face? And then I like the part that goes on to say glory and honor to Jesus give for his redeeming grace. Don't act like, like it was anything but his grace that allowed us to make it this far and that allowed us to get to this place. Amen. Amen. We thank God for Reverend Deborah Predigrew on this morning who is going to lead us further in worship by sharing the scripture lesson this morning. Then she'll lead us to the throne of grace and finally leading us into shouting to a dying world what it is we believe. Let the church say amen. Our scripture lesson on this morning will be taken from Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. That's Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. And I'll read from the NIV version of the Bible. And it reads, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aid. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river to the Euphrates all the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the West. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give to them. May the Lord add a blessing to his holy word. Amen. May we go to God in prayer. O oh Lord, most gracious heavenly Father, we thank you on this morning, Lord. We are so grateful, O oh God, that you have brought us into a new year, the year of 2023, Lord, on this first Sunday, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to get in here safe, Lord, and worship you on this morning, oh God. Lord, I pray for all of those, Lord Father God, that did not make it on last night, Lord Father God. I pray for their families, oh God. Lord, and thank you that we've made it through, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercies, Lord, that are renewed daily, oh God. Lord, we thank you that you are with us every step of the way, Lord. And now I pray, Lord, that we release all that does not serve us, Lord, in this, in this world, oh God, that serves no good in our life, oh Lord. Lord, help us to release things that are no good to us, Lord, like grudges, anger, jealousy, our pain, oh God, for there is nothing but change that bind us on those things, Lord Father God. Help us to think positive thoughts and not negative, oh God. Lord, I pray for those of us who are grieving, Lord. For I pray that we know that there is no time limit on grief, oh God. But I pray that we will get through the different stages of grief, Lord, with hope and knowing that we will experience joy completely, oh God. And I pray that we don't get stuck in certain processes of the grieving process, oh God. Lord, if there are any questions, any things that we need answered to, oh God, I pray that we seek your face, oh God. I pray that we seek you, Lord, and lay all of our cares at your feet, Lord, Father God, because we know that you care for us, oh Lord. And we thank you that you are close, Lord, to the brokenhearted. Lord, we thank you that you can heal our broken hearts, Lord, and secure our wounds in you, oh God. So we must continue to look to you, Lord, Father God, to the hills from which cometh our help, Lord, because our help comes from you, oh God. And we must recognize that we can turn to you in every situation. And we thank you that you are with us every step of the way, oh God. Lord, I pray for our children, our youth, and our young adults, oh God. 
For this world has changed so much from what it used to be, O oh God. But there is so much wrong being made right and so much right being right, made wrong, O oh God. So help us to reach and teach our children. Lord, I want to pray for our pastor on this morning, Reverend Todd Jared, Lord, Father God, that the word he delivers, Lord, touch our hearts, Lord, and will cause us to not only hear God's word, Lord, but be obedient unto what the Lord will have us to do, Lord, Father God. I pray for our first lady and our first daughter, oh God. Lord, we worship you, we honor you, and we glorify your holy name. And it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, may we stand for the affirmation of faith. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is the one true church, both apostolic and universal, whose holy faith let us reverently and sincerely proclaim with the use of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born on the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. Third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there shall come the judge, the quick, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. There are a lot of things precious to me. There are a lot of things of value, great value, I might add. But nothing is more precious than the blood of Jesus. Well, why do I say that? Because of our sinful nature. Because no matter how hard we've tried in 2022 to get it right, we failed. We're sinners saved by grace. The truth of the matter is nobody could pay the debt of our sin but Jesus. It wasn't in the speaking of his words. It wasn't in the touching of his hands. But it was in the shedding of his blood. Because what can wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of sin. And you do know that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, through his blood, is eternal life. That's the only reason we're here in 2023. Our sin would have took us out of here if it had not been for the blood of Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but all through this year, I'm going to thank him for the blood. I'm not going to wait till first Sundays. Every chance I get, I'm going to thank him for the blood. I'm amazed at how crimson or red blood can clean up what was as dirty as I was and make me white as snow. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Don't you start that, because I feel that all in my shondo. It will never own its power. Can I tell you how far? Oh, it reaches highest mountain. Oh, and it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, yeah, it's the blood gives me strength. Oh, from day to day, it will ne never Lord, it's come on, jump to your feet and lift your voice. Oh, it reaches to the high, highest mountain. Yes, it does. Oh, and it flows to the lowest valley. strength every day from day to day it will never lose its power thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah Joshua chapter 1 And we'll share verses 1 through 6, except the Lord say the same. I praise God for all our, our family and friends here on this morning. Y'all some smart folks. 
You got sense enough to begin the year in the Lord's house. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> you had enough sense for us to begin this year in God's house. That should have given you enough time. Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. When you have it, say praise the Lord. Amen. Sorry about the rest of y'all. We got to go on. <laughs> After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aid, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land that I am about to give them to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot. As I promised Moses, your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon. I wish I had a map to show you this morning. From the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country, to the Mediterranean Sea in the west, no one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you, but stay strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Just want to focus on the, the verse that says, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. Amen. This is the word of God. It's for all y'all, the people of God. Come on, give thanks to God. Amen, amen. Listen, if you don't mind this morning, I'm going to be meditative. That means I'm going to be short. Say hallelujah. Uh, I'm not going to be before you long on this New Year's Day. I believe there's some gumbo somewhere waiting on me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And some black eyed peas. Hallelujah. Uh, my brothers and sisters, I want to suggest to you this morning this weird subject. Can I give you the subject this morning? The subject this morning is simply who you with. Who you with. Don't be all prime and proper. Who are you with? I said who you with. <laughs> Let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, our Father, we thank you. God, we thank you because you've done so much for us. God, we thank you because you've seen us through danger seen and unseen, and you allow us to come and worship and give you praise on this morning. God, what a wonderful Sunday this is when I see families have gathered together for the first Sunday in the new year. God, speak a word this morning. Pour into your people in a special way this morning, and God, let them leave here better than they came. Let them leave here lifted if they came here down. Let them leave here calm if they came in frustrated. Let them leave here having confidence if they came in without confidence. It's in your son Jesus' name that we thank you and we pray. In every heart, said amen. 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 Well, my brothers and sisters, who you with? Who you with? I had the unbelievable pleasure this week to spend time in Chicago with uh, the Christian Education Department of the AME Zion Church. Amen. Uh, that's right, I wasn't by myself. We had some other saints that hung out this week in Chicago. But listen, can I tell you what happened? They had a, uh, wasn't quite dinner time, but they had a uh, meal, almost like a banquet, and the, um, and the theme, that's what it was, the theme was uh, HBCUs. 
black colleges, and sororities and fraternities. So y'all know that was off the chain. I wish I could take the time to ask y'all to shout out your fraternity, your HBCU, but we're not going to do that this morning. Saints ain't ready for all of that. Uh, but something intriguing happened. Uh, can I teach a little bit this morning about the AME Zion Church? Well, the AME Zion Church organized and runs one of the historical black college called Livingstone College in Salisbury, North Carolina. And so an interesting thing happened when they were introducing the different HBCUs and they were introducing the different colleges at this convention, when they said Livingstone College, the place, this is an AME Zion convention, the place erupted and everybody hollered, who you with? And then everybody else replied, LC. <laughs> then they said it again, who you with? And everybody hollered, LC. And I said, my God, are they excited about who we're with? Don't miss this. Livingstone is our college. Oh, I wish folks would get excited about some stuff that theirs. It's some stuff that's blessing them. And so everybody there is proud of Livingstone College. And then I started thinking about the significance of that question. Who are you with? Y'all missing this thing. The question this morning is, who are you with? In other words, anytime you going someplace, the essential question is, who you're going with? And I know y'all call some folk nosy. That ain't none of your business. Oh, but it is, and it's important, and it's critical that when you're going someplace, you need to go with the right person. Oh, y'all act like ain't nobody else had a jacked up vacation because you went with the wrong person. <laughs> they ran out of money early and was begging the whole trip. <laughs> Who you with is critical. You went with the wrong person. All they want to do is sit up in the hotel room all the time. They didn't want to go skydiving, scuba diving. They didn't even want to go to the buffet and eat. Who you with is a critical question, especially when you're on your way somewhere. Well, I know you're wondering right now, Pastor, I'm going crazy because I'm not going nowhere. I just came back. I'm not going nowhere. I can't afford it. I ain't going nowhere because I just want to stay home and rest. I ain't going nowhere. My job won't give me no days off. I ain't going nowhere. But I would argue that that's a lie from the pit of hell. We all going somewhere. Can I tell you where we're going? We're going through 2023. Listen, those of you that want to stick around in 2022, News flash, it's already 2023. Forget about it. You can't stay in 2022 if you want it to. You got to go on into 2023. Is there anybody that is stepping into 2023? The old things have passed away, and behold, all things are new. I'm on my way to get the new new. <laughs> is there anybody else tired of the old and want the new? New, new. Well, I just want to come through here and tell you who you with. Because who you with will determine your journey, will determine how you go there, what happens when you get there. Who you with? Truth of the matter is, we've all gone some places with the wrong people. And so that we all don't make that mistake this morning. Can I make a suggestion? Can I? Is it all right? I'm not trying to get in your business. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Everybody in here good and grown, mostly. But can I suggest that as you go into 23, you go with the Lord? 
I, I mean, I'm not trying to be deep or sophisticated this morning. I'm suggesting as you go into 2023, you better go with the Lord. And my brothers and sisters, I believe that there's some proof in the pudding. There's some proof in the text on why it's critical to take the Lord into 2023 with you. Amen. Listen, boo can go. Mama can go, daddy can go, cousin and them can go, but you better take the Lord with you into 2023. First of all, let me just express this to you. 2023 is going to be marvelous, but I didn't say it was going to be easy. Don't leave here. Some of my pastor said 2023 is going to be perfect. Ain't nothing going to go wrong. That's a lie, too. I ain't say that. And that's why it's critical that you go into 2023. You step into 2023. I like that because I know some of y'all were stepping last night. Amen. <laughs> so you step on into 2023 with the Lord. Well, interesting in the text. Why should we take the Lord into 23? The text says, as I was with Moses, I'll be with you. God, no, y'all ain't going to shout this morning. Uh, as I was with Moses, I'll be with you. Y'all going to make me tell the whole life story of Moses this morning. As I was with Moses. I'm going to be with you. Well, in the text, there's a few things that I want to point out uh, uh, about how and what happened with Moses when he was with Moses. Well, first of all, Moses just died, and he's with Joshua. But as they look back over some of the things that happened with Moses, I think there are a few things that become clear about what happens when the Lord is with you. Well, let's look at it. The well, first thing I want to suggest to you uh, is that Moses and the Lord is telling Joshua and the people, the first thing is that if you take me with me with you, I'm going to execute the transfer. I'm going to execute a transfer of ownership. That's critical. When you take the Lord with you, he executes a transfer of ownership. You don't have to go downtown and get no paperwork. The Lord will execute a transfer of ownership. Y'all not getting it. Here it is. In other words, the Bible says that every place that your foot treads upon, will become yours. How many renters do we have in here? Nobody renting? Y'all are good, well-to-do people. Amen. Hallelujah. But you do understand that when you're renting, you don't own that. And the landlord or the owner can kick you out and do anything they want to do on that property when they want to do it. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what the text is saying now, that when we step into 2023, we will no longer be renters, we'll be owners. Any place you're bold enough to go in 2023, the Lord will make it yours. The Lord will make you the owner of wherever you big and bad enough to step into in 2023. I don't know if it's a new job. I don't know if it's a new relationship. I don't know what it is. But if you dare to step into it, God will make you the owner of it. I don't know about you, but I want to own some new stuff. And I'm going to be able to own some new stuff because I'm taking the Lord with me. Who you with? I'm with the Lord because the Lord transfers ownership. One of the things that you own is hope. One of the things you own is joy. 
Listen, when you step into 2023, if you take the Lord with you, you'll be tired of being sick and tired and begin to grab hold of your joy and your hope and the love of God. And before you know it, you'll be blessed and highly favored. Because you are owner, not a borrower in 2023. If you take the Lord with you. You know, the thing about renting is and the thing about not owning is you always got to ask the owner for permission. Listen, when God makes you the owner of something, that career, whatever it is, you own it. You do what the Lord tells you with it and you don't have to answer to anybody else. Well, another thing that happens when you take the Lord with you, who you're with, is that God executes expansion. God executes expansion. Did you hear in the text that said, when you cross over the river, everything that I'm going to give you will keep expanding. I'm going to give you more and more and more land and more ownership. Listen, somebody said it like, enlarge my territory. Is there anybody that needs more, that needs expansion in your life? What you have right now is just not cutting it. What you have right now is just a not enough. And you want expansion and you want increase. You want overflow. You want God to move in a mighty way and to keep stretching you and growing you. Do you know that anything don't, that doesn't grow dies? Y'all check with some scientists when you get a chance. Anything that does not grow dies. So the good thing is when you go with God, God will give you expansion. He'll enlarge your territory. Listen, so much so that you won't even have room enough to receive everything the Lord is going to give you. The Lord is going to give you overflow. Anybody heard somebody saying, my cup runneth over? Well, listen, I don't care about what spills out on the floor. I'll bless that with somebody else. But does anybody want overflow in their life? When you got overflow, sometimes all you got to do is drink from the salsa. Anybody ever just drink from the salsa? You didn't even need what was in the cup. You just began to drink from the salsa. Is there anybody here that wants God to give you so much overflow that all you got to do is drink from the extra? 2023, get ready. We're going to be drinking from the overflow. So when the times get lean, when the times get hard, we'll have a reservoir of extra. So when you take the Lord with you into 2023, there's going to be a transference of ownership. There's going to be an execution of expansion. And then finally, my brothers, he's going to execute your defense. I don't know what else you want. You got ownership. You got overflow, ex expansion. And now you've got a fence all around you. He's going to execute your defense. The Bible says that in the text, he said that Wherever you go and wherever the enemy comes upon you, the Lord is going to stop their behind. Now, it don't say behind in the Bible, but you get what I mean. The Lord is going to stop your enemies. I believe some songwriter said, Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. My brothers and sisters in 2023, some folks, some things, and some circumstances ain't going to be able to get to you. Because Jesus is going to be wrapped around you. The Lord is going to wrap his presence around you. And when you're in the presence of the Lord, some folks just can't come up on you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Well, here it is, my brothers and sisters. I, I, I remember growing up in Chicago. Uh, them folks crazy over there. But uh, I, I was growing up in Chicago, and what had happened was 
See, in the neighborhood we lived in wasn't the greatest neighborhood in the world. And so there was multiple gangs. And, and the interesting thing about the multiple gangs was whenever they walked up on you, guess what they said? Who you with? And if you didn't say the right answer, you were in big trouble. Like the Blackstone Rangers walk up on you. Don't be talking about you, the L. Rookins, or none of that other stuff. When you walked up on by those enemies, you got to know who you with and you got to be the right person. And once you say you're the right person and with the white group, the right group, them jokers back up off of you. Can I get a witness? Is there anybody here who has ever been walking home from school by yourself and you were walking home by yourself and because you were by yourself, they took your lunch money? <laughs> is there anybody been walking to school in the morning and when you went to school it was you were by yourself and somebody walked up behind you and said give me your homework and they took your homework and you ended up getting an F in the class because you didn't turn in any homework I wish the teacher would have recognized that's not that person's handwriting but I digress anyway all I'm trying to say is who you with matters can I tell you what I did I live one block from the school but I went two blocks to other way to pick up Joe and Mike <laughs> and when I went two blocks the other way to pick up Joe and Mike and I walked to school with Joe and Mike I ain't had no problem after that can I get a witness it matters who you with so as you getting ready to go into 2023 can I ask you one sanctified question who you with please don't say you're with Livingstone please don't say you're with Biden Please don't say you're with Trump. Please don't say you family. Please don't say you're with friends. Please don't even say you're with your boo. But is there anybody here that will take and go into 2023 with the Lord? I'm so glad the Lord is on my side. And because he's on my side, I'm an owner, not a borrower. Because he's on my side. I keep growing and growing and growing because he's by my side. No devil in hell can hurt me. Can I get a witness? Is there anybody here running with the Lord? Well, I'm going to my seat real quick. I told y'all, quit fudging. I, I, I told the people here that I got a Raleigh bike. I did tell y'all that, that I had a Riley bicycle. The problem with it was, initially, I put training wheels on it, or my dad put training wheels on it. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> my dad had training wheels on the bike. And so after riding it for a while, I didn't know. He said, all right, I'm taking the training wheels off now. And so I was paranoid. I was scared. Why was I scared? I was scared because the training wheels were gone. Oh, y'all ain't too grown to be scared when they take the training wheels off of your life and some things you have to do by yourself after that. Ah, my brothers and sisters, but I, I'm riding and I'm wobbling and I'm falling and I'm falling and I'm falling. And then, and then, then I got back on the bike. I didn't quit, y'all. I didn't quit. Let the record reflect. I didn't quit. I got back on the bike. And when I got back on the bike, I, I, I was riding, and I felt something holding the back seat. And, and, when, and, and I looked up, and I turned around, and my daddy was holding the back seat. Can I tell you something? When my dad began to hold the back seat, I wasn't scared no more. When my dad began to hold the back seat and began to go with me as I rode the bike, everything was all right. I wasn't scared no more. Is there anybody here that is not talking about their biological daddy, but they got another daddy that sits high and looks low, and he's holding your bike? As you ride into 20, 2023, say yeah, 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 never alone, never alone, he promised never to leave me alone, bye-bye y'all, I gotta go, I'm on my way into 2023, and I got the Lord with me. Anybody want to go? Anybody want to go? 
Well, let me ask you this. Who you with? Who you with? Who you with? Yeah! 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 Who you with? It's critical. It matters. Who you with? Mom and them used to tell me, be careful who you run with. Who you with? Who going with you? Well, I'm proud to say this morning, as we go into 23, take the name of Jesus with you. Child of sorrow and of woe. He will joy and comfort give you. Take the name wherever you go. And then grandma and them used to cry out, precious name. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of sorrow. Precious name. Take the name of Jesus with you. I'm not making no false promises. That's 2023, 20, nobody's going to leave us. Not making any false promises. That you're going to keep that job through all of 2023? Not making any promises that the relationships that you're in right now will stay together. But what I am doing is telling you this. That if you take the Lord with you, you're going to expand. <laughs> now, those of you that won't stay little, I've been trying to grow for a long time. It ain't happy yet, but I'm still waiting on the Lord. Maybe 2023 is my year. But the reality is it don't matter because I'm taking the Lord with me. If the Lord wouldn't go with me, I would sit down right on 2022 and stay there. Say, I ain't going nowhere. But I'm so glad. Here's the proof. He's going to go with me. You want to hear what the proof is? He woke me up this morning. <laughs> and when I woke up this morning, it was 2023. And that assures me that the Lord is going to go with me into 2023. Believe it or not, there may be somebody here that doesn't even know the Lord. They have no frame of reference. They haven't experienced his presence. But see, they done fooled around and came in here this morning. <laughs> or they done fooled around and turned us on the airwaves. And we are representatives of the Lord. He dwells in all who believe in him. And so we want to saturate you too. Those of you that haven't experienced him, we're not going to social distance or none of that. We want to put Jesus on you. We want to get a little of Jesus that's in us all on you. You won't leave here sneezing because we gave you a cold. You'll leave here rejoicing because we gave you the spirit of the Lord. Is there anyone that wants to take their mask off that blocks them spiritually? Y'all got scared, didn't y'all? Y'all thought I was going to tell everybody to take their mask off. But if you're spiritually masked and you can't see here or meet Jesus, we want to take your mask off this morning. If you're here, all you got to do is lift your hand up. Let, them know you want, let me know you want to be saved. Matter of fact, you know what will help? If everybody stands, then the ones that want to give their life to Christ won't be so visible or embarrassed. They'll feel more comfortable if everybody stands with them. Don't let nothing deter you. Don't you come in here and sit our fooling around with us and leave here without Jesus. Might have been a family member, might have been a friend that made you or suggested that you come to church today. Don't leave here without knowing him for yourself. Is there one that wants to give their life to Jesus Christ? Is there one? Is there one? How do I have to walk? 
How do I have to walk? Oh, yes. Each and every day. Each and every day. Tell me what does it call? Tell me what does it call? If I? To carry the cross. Yes, sir. Help me be. So let me be. A follower. A follower of Christ. Hallelujah. 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 What do I have to do? Yes, God. What do I have to say? Whoa. How do I have to walk? Each and every day. Each and every day. Tell me what does it call? If I. To carry the cross. Just let me be. So let me be a follower of Christ. Now listen, you may be saved and know the Lord and the pardon of your sin. But you may not have or you may not be anchored. In other words, you're walking to school alone. Don't you want to join a church home and a church family that will walk to the store, walk to school, or walk through life with you? That's what a church home is for. So those times when there's trouble, when there's misery all around you, you got somebody with you. You're not alone. And not just somebody, somebody that believes in the same Lord you believe in. So if you don't have a church home and you want some company, Come on, join the church this morning. The doors of this church are open. Won't you come? Join the sanctuary of God, the church of God. Is there one this morning? Is there one this morning? How do I have to walk? Listen, praise God for a saved house and praise God for a house where members have a church home. Come on, let's give God praise. I didn't say praise God because you got your way. I didn't say praise God because everything was all right. I said praise God for salvation and for being a part of the body of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not much of a bowler anymore, but I'm getting ready to bowl down everybody's aisle. Everybody. No matter you being with the Lord or anybody anywhere else, we need prayer. We need to talk to God. And listen, I'm all right, but you better learn how to talk to God for yourself. Is there anybody here that wants to begin this year on their knees at the altar or just talking and having a conversation with the Lord? The altar is open. Because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. Oh, it's flowing from my heart Are the issues of my heart Hallelujah It's gratefulness Listen, you can make two rolls There's room at the altar Reverend Clay Evans used to sing, there's room at the cross. I am grateful for the things that Now that's step one right now. Done. I'm looking for grateful folks. Yeah. Yes, Listen, you can't come I asking God for nothing if you're not grateful for grateful what he's given you already. Are there any grateful three, people here? We won. I could go on and on yeah. and on. About your works because, because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful. Hallelujah. Come on, talk to him. Talk to the Lord. Begin to speak to him. Begin to thank him, thank him for bringing you through 2022. Thank him for the good times and the bad times in 2022. 
The bad times gave you perseverance, gave you strength. Tell him thank you for the ups and the downs, the ins and the outs. Tell him thank you. Because he didn't let you have your way and go the wrong way. He turned your ship around and pointed you in the direction he wanted you to go. Tell him thank you. I love you, Jesus. I worship. I worship. Come on, talk to him. Tell him thank you. Now, tell him what you want. Tell him what you need in 2023. Tell him what you need in 2023. If it's a friend, he'll give you a friend. He'll be your friend. If it's a doctor, he'll send the right doctor. If it's a lawyer, he'll provide a lawyer. If it's water, he'll give you water when you're thirsty. Bread, bread when you're hungry. Just say, have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Use me, oh God. Use me, oh God. Show me my purpose, oh God. We love you, Lord. More than money, more than riches, more than friends. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. I love, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Gracious God, our Father. We thank you for being a prayer answering God. Even right now at this altar, God, you're moving in a mighty way. You're touching people. You're lifting people. You're strengthening people. You're helping people understand that you can do anything but fail. You're helping people make a decision, oh God, that in 2023, when somebody asks them who you're with, they're going to say, I'm with the Lord God Almighty. I'm with the sovereign God. I'm with the one who made the heavens and the earth. I'm with the one that divided the day from the night. I'm with the one who's the divided the waters from the earth I'm with the one who created this whole joint in seven days no he rested the seventh day I'm thankful to God we're thankful to God we're thankful to God and now oh God reveal yourself a new way God this ain't 22 anymore I know you know that but God touch them in a 2023 way <laughs> Whatever they need this year, give it to them right now, God. Let them know that everything is going to be all right. And God, even before we feel it, we glorify you. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you in Jesus' name. And then your people, they got up, oh Lord. They got up in a 23 kind of way. <laughs> they got up smiling. They got up praising. They got up thanking the Lord for all that you've done for them. They got up ready to tell a dying world about a Savior that can do anything but fail. Rise and go in peace and may the peace of God go with you. If you take one step, the Lord will take two steps. Go in the peace of God. Go in the strength of God. Go in the love of God. Whoa. I love you, Lord. Do your work, Lord. Do your work, Lord. Have your way, Lord. On and on, on and on, on, and on, and on. And on, and on. Oh, yeah. about your word. Because, because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. Come on, oh, where is it flowing from? Where is it flowing from? It's flowing. I want to hear the heart of the people. I want to hear the heart of the people. Where is it flowing from? Flowing from. It's flowing from. I couldn't help myself. It began to bubble up. It began to lift up in my heart. It's flowing from. Come on, what's coming out? Gratefulness. My heart is grateful Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just begin to thank him. Just begin to thank him. Sometimes thanking is not enough. Show some sign. Come on. Give him the fruit of your lips. Give him the fruit of your lips. Give him the clap of your hands. 
Let them, let them hear your heart. Let them hear your spirit on this morning. Let it cost you something. It's two times to praise the Lord when you feel like it and even when you don't. We thank you and glorify your holy and your righteous name. Grateful. She's grateful. My brothers and sisters, a sign of who you're with is what you do. You can always tell who somebody with with by what they do. Can I get an amen? Uh, and so those of us that are with the Lord ought to show some sign this morning. Can I ask you to show the sign of obedience? The Lord says, listen, I've given you 100. Give me back 10 change. And you keep the 90. In the words of Sister Maddox, that's the best deal in town. It's offering time, beloved, in the life of the church. Without any further words of prompting, we're just going to ask that you come forward and give an electronic or a monetary gift unto the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Gracious God, our Father, we're reminded that all things come from Thee, O Lord, and of Thine own have we given. We've given now, Lord. Take these gifts. Use them for the upbuilding of Your kingdom. God, take them and smash them and shake them and lift them, O God, so that they might be multiplied, O God, for greater work that might be done for You. Bless every giver. God, some gave monetarily, some gave electronically. But please don't forget those that gave spiritually. They didn't have to give, but God, they gave up their heart and their spirit. We accept those gifts as well. 
Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Let us, the, the, the use of these gifts, be revealed to us, O oh God, that we might be encouraged that what we're doing is making a difference in the life of your kingdom and your church. We thank you. We praise you. And we glorify you. People of God said amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, I believe we ought to give extra energy, reverence, and prayer whenever we do something for the Lord for the first time. When we do something new, or, or better yet, maybe this will get it. When God gets ready to do something for us for the first time. What are you talking about, Rev? I've been taking communion for 70 years. But you haven't done it before in 2023. This is the first time we will receive the sacrament of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in 2023. I don't know about you, but I'm glad he has allowed me to do it one more time. He allowed us to be here to do it one more time. Not that any time is more reverent than another, but to me there's something special about this. I believe God is going to do a new thing. His body will be different this time. His blood will be more potent this time. Because God wants to get us off right in 2023. So I'm reminded of how we used to do it. I'm going to ask one of the officers, wherever you all are, if you can go turn off the lights. I need one of my officers to lower the lights. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. So I love. That old cross where the dear wrestling rest for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down I will tired of carrying stuff so I'll cling to the old it's a rugged crawl oh and exchange it's 
someday for a crown if any man sin we have an advocate with the father Jesus Christ the righteous and he is the propitiation for our sins not for ours only but for the sins of the whole world wherefore we do truly and earnestly repent of our sins in our heart and love, love and charity with our neighbor and if we intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy way draw near with faith and take the holy sacrament to your comfort I'm going to ask that the ushers would direct the people to come to the table. After the officers come, we're inviting families to come together or anyone that wants to commune together. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy just give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for his redemption, who made thereby an oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice. Oblation and sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. And did institute in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, O merciful Father. We humbly beseech thee and grant that we receiving thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and his blood. Same night he was betrayed, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat this. This is my body which is given for you, do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you can in remembrance of me. Amen. Devoutly kneeling, make your humble confession to Almighty God. Those of you that are not able to, able to kneel, feel, kneel, feel free to stand. There you have before you the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Take it. Eat it. Feast upon it in your heart by faith. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the precious blood of the Lamb. Drink it. Drink all of it. Let it preserve you. Let it strengthen you. Let it keep you unto everlasting life. Now, you have taken the body and the blood of our Lord and Jesus Christ. Go tell in a dying world who you with. Rise, go in peace, and may the peace of God go with you. As these are departing, we invite others to come. Thank you. 
my brothers and sisters, devoutly kneel and make your humble confession to Almighty God. And let me just say, this is a good thing when we have more people than we've usually had. And we're scurrying, trying to find more communion. Let the church say amen. The body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has been broken for you. Take it and eat it and feast upon it in your heart by faith. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. Take now the precious blood of the Lamb. Rise, my father's children. Go in peace, and may the peace of God go with you. As these depart, we invite others to come. How are? Because any more of this family come if Amen. Devoutly kneeling, make your humble confession to Almighty God. The body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was broken for you. Take it now, eat it, feast upon it in your heart by your faith. The blood of Jesus Christ shed for you on Calvary's cross. Take it now. Drink it. Drink all of it. Let it preserve you, strengthen you, and keep you unto everlasting life. So ever. Shall I perish? Should Oh, but we'll have They're gonna have Everlasting Everlasting life Arise now, go in peace May the peace of God go with you. May the peace of God sustain you. And God, please remember to tell them who you with. As these depart, we invite others to come. I want to invite the deaconess, after you have given them their packets, would you please join them at the altar? After you've given them their packets, deaconess, if you would join them at the altar for a communion.
Live out in healing. Make your own confession. Singers of Zion. Consecrated deaconess of our church. Beloved members. There before you is the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Take it. Eat it. Feast upon it in your heart by faith. Shall have. Everlasting. Listen, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. Take now the precious blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Drink it. Drink all of it. Let it preserve you, strengthen you, and keep you unto everlasting life. Go and now tell the world what it is you believe and what you know. It was the blood. Reverend Corey, if you would kneel at the altar. Reverend Corey, you have now the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take it, eat it, feast upon it in your heart by faith. What can wash away your sins, Reverend, but the blood? Take now the blood, drink it, drink all of it. Let it preserve you, strengthen you, and keep you unto everlasting life. Rise now, go in peace. May the peace of God go with you. I know. They laid him. They laid him. For me, oh, I know it. My brothers and sisters, I praise God for communing you all the first time in the year of our Lord, 2023. I told you all that this year, and as I'm doing this, officers, would you please? Uh, I'm doing, using this as a teaching moment. Normally in our ritual, I know some of you are looking at pastor that lost his mind, or pastor does not know what he's doing. For years in our ritual, the ministers were served first, and we served ourselves. Amen. 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 In a spirit of servitude, in a special visual message that we're trying to send to the congregants. We're not ever first. Amen. Service and serving the people of God yeah. is what's first. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Just as an explanation so you do understand that there's no hierarchy here. Yeah. All of us are God's children. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Can we pray together? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen, amen. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Come on, jump to your feet and let's fellowship together. What a fellowship. Oh, what fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a, what a peace of mind, leaning on the everlasting Come on, sing it, sir. Oh, I'm leaning, oh, leaning, safe and secure. Oh, Lord, Lord, I am leaning. You know I'm leaning. Leaning on the everlasting. Oh, how sweet. Sweet to walk in this pilgrim way. Leaning on the everlasting. Oh, how bright. Rose from leaning. Oh, church, I'm, you know I'm safe and secure from all along. You know I'm leaning, you know I'm leaning, leaning. Come on, here we go, one more time. Oh, I'm leaning, you know I'm leaning. From all along, lean, leaning, leaning on the ever. Oh, how sweet in this. Oh, how bright rose from leaning. For real this time. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all along. You know I'm leaning. Leaning on the everlasting. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We're still waiting. Can I get an officer to pull those lights all the way up? I want to see you as you get ready to leave here. There are some folks have, I haven't seen in here since I was probably about 11, 10 years old. So I want to see everybody this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I ask you one question as we get ready to go? Who you with? I'm with the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Livingstone, all right. Hampton, all right. Grambling, all right. But I'm with the Lord in 2023. Well, there's one thing for us left to do, uh, and that is, y'all know, come on. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, every creature here below. Praise God, Father. Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Now I want us to sing this like this is the dawning that we've just walked into a new year. You know the whining song, millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. 
I want you to praise him like you're grateful for being one of the ones who made it into this year. Amen. Amen. Listen, can I tell you this? You're going to need this last bit of praise to make it through Monday, to make it through Tuesday, to make it through Wednesday, to make it through Thursday. You're going to need that last amen to make it through Friday. You're going to need that to make it until we come back here again. So let's give it all to God because he's worthy of all our praise. Here we go. Praise God. All sings, blessings flow, all praise. Every little creature here below, oh, praise above. may be seated. Even in 2023, unto him who is able to do exceedingly and above that which we could ask him to do. In 2023, still the only wise God, our Savior. And unto him be glory majesty, power, as you go out and as you come in, in your down sitting and in your uprising, in your work, and yes, even when you play, everything you do, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord grant his shining face to be upon you. Now, henceforth and forevermore. And all of God's children, uncontrollably, they lifted their voice and they began to cry out, Amen! Amen! Amen. Amen. Come on. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out. I'm going to yield for a couple moments to Sister Jessica Pettigrew, who is going to come share our announcements on this morning, and then we will bid you a farewell. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. To Pastor, First Lady, and Ambernia, to 